Yes guys and a welcome from me, Change Manager 0102 Player Profile Time. You see the guy right in front of you now. This is your true Championship Manager legend. He is absolutely the legend. You know, I think um, in terms of in terms of um, go-to players, he is always one of my um, one of my go-to players in every game. Now it's very difficult to get him as a low low league to play at team. You just got to get lucky. Um, but but in respect of what he turns out in the game, he's fucking brilliant. Now where do I start, Mark? Her? We'll start with him from a CM point of view. Uh, but before we go any further, guys, any further, we have some breaking news. And I only decided this last night. We are going to end the Challenge 10 save, right? Fuck the Challenge 10 save now. I've just decided, you know. But we are going to leave the saved game open, which is where I am right now. And the reason is for the benefit of player profiles. That's why I'm going to leave the saved game open. Because, obviously, we are uh, into the ninth season. And it gets a good perspective of a player. And Mark Kerr is, our, is going to be our guinea pig. So, Mark Kerr, let's talk about him in CM. Something I've, something I've never done on Mark Kerr, but I read a lot of people do it. They train him to be a DMC. Now, when you look at his attributes and what they uh, start at, what they develop into, he has got the credentials to be a DMC. I've never really done it, in, in all honesty. Uh, now, in this particular game, uh, those of you that followed the um, the Challenge 10, I was rushing in diamonds, uh, and I tried to get him at the very start. I didn't get him. As I said, he tends to sign a new contract with Full Kirk. Um, if you're lucky, um, if you're bidding for him before he signs that contract, and they're rejecting it, he'll get unhappy. He won't sign a contract, so it can make things difficult. But I did finally get my man, as you can see, in 0405. Um, and he and he was a, a regular guy for me the following season. Um, as you can see, he didn't really set the world alight with assists. And then I left, of course, Rushton to go to her to Berlin, uh, and as a manager, and brought him with me. And as you can see, um, in, in this particular save, he hasn't been as prolific as what I know he can be. Um, but he is a prolific midfielder. I mean. I've never trained him. I don't know how he develops in, in terms of DMC. But, you know, th th he's got the credentials to really be a really, really strong MC. And as you can see, uh, you know, eight seasons in, nine seasons in, he's made, it for, um, he's made it for Scotland as well. And as I said, you will get him. I think if you're going to start as a relatively big team, uh, you can pick him up for a couple of million. Um, but Leeds and Spurs do tend to come against you. Um, and as you can see, he went to Le uh, he went to Leeds, then he went to Spurs anyway. So um, ironically, and you can see he actually did well for Spurs. So I did well to get him. Um, you could always start a game as Paul Kirk and see how you get on with him. So you know it, he is the dog's bollocks. Now let's talk about Mark Kerr as a player in real life. He started out at Paul Kirk, nineteen ninety eight, and I think realistically he didn't actually leave. Full Kirk until 03. Now it's funny really because he's one of those players and I, I read something recently about him or somebody sent me a link about players that um, were, were portrayed as real, the next best thing since sliced bread in CM but never really made it. Uh, and from Full Kirk he left to go to Dundee United. Now to be fair to him right, um, you know he had over 100 games for Full Kirk, over 150 odd games for Dundee United. Um, didn't really succeed at uh, Aberdeen because he went to Aberdeen um, he had a loan spell somewhere which I seem to have left blank on my notes uh, Dunfermline, Dundee it was always I mean he ended up back at Full Kirk uh, in 2015 so uh, normally I'm a big fan of a player ending their um, their career where it started I'm a big fan of that because I just think it shows but but he didn't end his career there because I also wrote down something that he was still playing last year where he, I think he finished last year for Air United. He was at Air United after Full Kirk after his second stint. I think he didn't play as many games. Um, but uh, I don't know if he was playing manager there or what because um, he was manager there from like 19 to 21. So I don't know if I've wrote that down wrong and maybe he was only there for 2018 and he was manager from 19 to 21. If you do know more about this, jot it down there. I'm always intrigued to know. 
Uh, he never made it for the Scotland um, international, uh, the Scotland seniors. I think he only ever had uh, one game for the under 21s and one game for the B team. But um, it, you know, it, it is interesting because um, I don't know. He, I don't like. I do like to see them finish where they started. The only exception on that would be Cristiano Ronaldo because I hate that cunt and uh, Messi. I hate them cunts. So um, they can fuck off and die for all I'm concerned. I don't like them cunts at all. I mean, he's 40 years old now, so I guess he could have been playing last season. I'm not 100 percent sure, but naturally he's a midfielder. So that is. Uh, so no, he never really made it. Like the game. But do you know what? Who gives a shit? We all love him, don't we? We all love him. So that is Mark Kerr for you, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time from me, and if there's anything you want doing, let me know. It's take it easy.